Good morning, Floss Tube. Uh, happy Thursday, January 31st. Month is almost over. Um, I am Helen D. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Um, we are in a different location today. We moved back up to the office slash craft room, which we call the crawfish because we're nerds. <laughs> um, the dining room I like shooting in because the light is best, but it's right above where the heater is. I don't hear the heater because I live here and the heater goes off all the time and I don't even notice. Um, it's very loud and you could definitely pick it up in the video. So I thought for the foreseeable future, because it's still cold in winter, um, I can't shoot down there just because it's, it's kind of annoying. So I thought we would move back up here. There goes the plow truck. That's loud too. <laughs> um, I can't really adjust. My camera won't focus. So one side of me is light and one side of me is dark, but the colors on fabric and stuff looked okay. And I didn't clean for you. That mess back there is how it usually looks. You don't want to see the mess in front of me. I'm at my husband's desk and I just kind of shoved his stuff out of the way so I could set up. Um, I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, it's been kind of a quiet couple weeks here. It's been cold, but it hasn't been nearly as cold as what everyone in the Midwest and other parts of the state. Um, I hope you guys are all safe and warm. Jen Upton, when I saw your post on Instagram this morning about your door had frozen and the ice is like inside the house, um, that's insane. So hopefully you put some blankets on that door um, and everyone's safe and warm and okay. Um, we had a cold snap a little while ago and I think it got down to like, feels like 15 below or 20 below, but nothing, nothing like what you guys are experiencing. So that's really scary. Um, quiet couple weeks. I, I've got quite a bit done. My son was sick, so he was homesick one day. Um, he is doing a play at school, a musical, so they've had practice for that, that I've been in and out of. So it's been, it's been a quiet couple weeks, but a weird couple of weeks, and it will continue to be that way. Um, the show is not next week, but the week after, but he has rehearsal every day after school next week that I'll probably need to be at a couple because I'm helping with props and costumes. And then the actual shows, I'm sure I'll be backstage putting fourth and fifth grade giants in their giant costumes. Um, and it's on my birthday. So what better way to spend my birthday than by doing two performances of my son's musical? He's excited though. He's doing really well and he's not into sports. So we kept saying, oh, you should try this. You should try this. We're just trying to help him find his thing. Um, he's not really competitive. Well, he's very competitive. He's not sports competitive. There's a difference. <laughs> so he's doing chorus and the musical this year and he loves them. So hopefully next year he'll do band. Um, who knows what instrument it will be. Whatever one it is, I will say, let's do this. <laughs> there might be a drum. There's already a drum set in my playroom, so there might be even more musical instruments in my house. Um, all right, let's talk about what I've been doing. I just hit the table, so we'll see how wiggly we're going to be here. Um, I have an FFO. I have a finish. I have some whips, the normal stuff. So we'll start with the FFO, which was... Um, ABCs of Snow. This is by Heart and Hand. I finished mine, on, uh, I stitched mine on Picture This Plus Stellar, which is this really pretty, like I said, the, the fabric's showing up really good in here. So this is like a pretty blue because you know I wanted those whites to show up. Um, this fabric behind it is purple. I don't know how well that's showing up. And this is on my stand, which it fell when I brought it up here, but it's on magnets so I can just slide it back up there where I need it with the pom-pom. This piece had, I was messaging Misty and Barbie, um, it had two FFOs in one night because I did it one way and I hated it. 
So I ripped it all apart and I did it again. So this is the one I'm going with. So this is now back on my shelf downstairs um, for winter. And then I have that piece from Country Cottage I showed, I think, last video. I already put it away. The Bramble and the Bee? I don't remember. Um, but that I'll have to pull out because that's going to be my spring piece. So I'll start that in a little bit. So that was my, fin my FFO. And... My finish was a new start and then a finish. Um, I pulled out the first of my Bent Creek rows. It's still in its plastic, it's Easter row. I had spring row, but when I saw this one last year, I liked this one better. Spring row has like a bee scap, um, might have a bunny, some flowers, that's fine, but I thought this one was cuter. So I decided to do that one for spring. It's long. I'm doing these on a 16 count, so they end up being about 17 by two. So, I'm hoping you can see that. Um, I did end up changing it called for three different colors for the words. So I just picked one variegated. It's a Victorian motto called Venus and it's like a blue and a purple. And I just used the one and those bunnies. They're like little peeps. So because I picked the one color for the words, I then just tweaked a couple other colors to make them match to brighten it up a little bit. So this one, I don't know how I'm finishing yet. But the plan is to finish them all the same. Priscilla did them last year, some of the rows. Um, and she also did the Lizzie Kate strings. And her strings are on a piece of it's like barn wood, I think she found at Hobby Lobby. Um, so I'll find something that's long, and then I can just swap them out. So um, I started that on a Friday night. And I finished it on a Tuesday night. So it's really quick, which then makes me want to do all the rows. <laughs> I was already planning on doing the seasonal rows and the Halloween row. Um, but when we get to haul, you'll see that there are more rows in my future. Because they're fast and they're easy and they can swap out and they were really fun. So that was my FO. Um, all right, whips. I pulled Button Up out again, and I have a confession. I'm tired of stitching winter. I know it's still winter. <laughs> I'm tired of stitching. I think that's why I pulled out the spring. I just needed a break from winter. So Button Up, you've seen it. Um, mine is stitching. Instead of the nine squares, I'm doing eight. So I'm doing two rows of four. Um, so that's where I'm at. Um, this is on Misty's fabric, Luminous Fiber Arts. It's faded denim. I have no idea how it's showing. Um, I think I'm going to finish that square I'm in, which will be the halfway point, And then I might switch this to being a one a month. There's no way I'm going to get it done in time for this winter. So why kill myself? I might switch it to one a month and then it will be done in time for next winter. Um, they're, they're full coverage practically. There's so much stitches in those tiny blocks. This one, it actually calls for, like some of them have that gray in the background. I'm gonna cheat. I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. I put the snowflakes in, the fabric is so pretty. It looks like snowy sky behind it. That my plan is for the ones that are filled in with gray, I'm gonna leave them as is. Um, and that border is something I made up. I'm happy to share. The problem is it works on two by four, but I tried to tweak it to three by three for a couple people. It doesn't work because they're not square. They're actually rectangles. Um, I just can't get it to line up. So 
but I have it as a Google Doc if anyone's interested. Um, actually, I'll just link it. I think I can just link it below, and that way you don't have to ask me. You can just click on it. Um, but again, it's for the 2 by 4 layout. So I worked on that. Um, what else is in these? I had a new start. The plan was, the beginning of this year, finish Pretty Little DC, finish uh, The Last Dragon, I'm pointing because it's in that room, and then start a couple things that would be like my sales for the year, although they're not really stitch-alongs, but more like my monthlies. Um, and one of them was Lizzie Kate Tingles. Just, that's the next one I'll be doing, but they're on there. There's a free border on her website, and there's not, it's like that couple rows on the top. I think it includes these little whippies, maybe something down here. It's just a way to put them all together. So that's what I'm doing. I'm thinking, oh, I'll do one a month so that then I'll be kind of in good shape. Um, if I wanted them done by this Halloween, it'd have to be more than one a month, so we'll see. But I got two done. These worked up really quick. Um, it's a very long piece of fabric, so I'm trying to hold it up. This is Picture This Plus Doubloon, which is actually the same thing I did Easter row on because I had a scrap. I cut off the edge, and it was perfect. Um, I'm using the called for colors, except the white didn't, it shows up fine here, but in real life, it didn't show up as well as I'd like. So, like, this house was supposed to be white. I added in another blue. See if I can find it. Um, Gentle Art Old Blue Paint. So I added that in. It's like a smoky blue. Um, I did the house in that, and then I'll kind of just add that in every here and there so that it doesn't look completely out of place um, in place of some of those whites. So that one, off to a good start. That was it. I guess that's all I've worked on, um, which is a lot. I mean, I got a whole piece done, but that's all I have for whips. Um, I have a lot of haul. I shouldn't, but somehow I do. So I'll show you guys that. One of them I've been using here in my back. I don't think I showed this before. I was putting some stuff away and I'm like, I don't remember showing that. So it might've just gotten tucked away. This is Jen Upton's fault. This was her, I believe her new year, new start. And it's by the work basket. And that picture is not going to do it justice, but it's this very pretty spring bugs. And Amy, there's a little frog or toad down there. Um, so it's called Flutterbys by the work basket I mean old school picture I found it on eBay so it's not available on the regular shopping sites but it is out there um, I don't know what year it is 2002 so I picked up that Satsuma Street which you know I love. I posted this on Instagram. This She did this seasonal series, um, and this is the last one. I adore this colorway with the icy blues and the purples, and it's probably not showing up well here. Um, it's gorgeous. So I have a couple of the variegated flosses, and they're all DMC variegated, so I'll have to pick those up. Um, my one problem with this, I love how it looks on white. I don't like stitching on white Ada. And you know I only stitch on Ada. Um, white plain Ada, you can see all the holes. Or it's super, super stiff. So I'll have to decide if I want to get a piece of white Ada and wash it with a little fabric softener or wool light and see if I can tighten it up. Um, or when I get the colors, 
go through my stash and see if there's a, if like, do I have a super light blue or something that's just a hint of color that won't take away, but that I can use instead. So we'll see. I don't know when I'm going to start that. All right. Last video, I had shown that I found the Snapperlands, Bent Creek Snapperlands, and I picked up Autumn and Winter off Stash Unload because Mama Joan showed hers, and I've loved these for years, and I've told myself I didn't need them, and then I saw hers all finished, and I'm like, now I need them, and now everyone's going to need them, so I better act fast. <laughs> so I was looking for summer. Spring didn't do much for me, um, but I love summer because it's like a beach scene. Um, I found them. I don't know what order they go in and there's no picture of all of them on the back. I found these from Ye Old Cross Stitchery. Um, it's in Pennsylvania. Um, Misty had mentioned it to me and I found some charts there a while ago that I couldn't find anywhere else. So she does have them. She has all of the seasons um, if you're looking for them. This is summer. So it's a lighthouse, a little beach, dude on a bike, and like another little house with a whale, and a crab, and a lot of reflection. Um, these are, I don't know if it says how long and how big the whole thing is. No, they're 50 by 50, and then when you put them all together, um, there's a border on their website, a really pretty border. This one has like seahorses and stuff in it. Um, but you, and it comes with the little, the little snaps, which you can or can't use. It doesn't matter. I mean, you know, I'll stitch that one on blue. So when I get to it, and then when I was on her site, she also had two other little charts, one of which I've been looking for for a long time and couldn't find anywhere because I don't know why I, I love this so much. The turkey with the little fork. This is Happy Thanksgiving, and then this one is waiting for Santa. So I threw those in there too. Um, so that came from Ye Old Cross Stitchery, and I will link her below. Uh, my friend Penny is also just about ready to open her online store, and I know she has spring. There's a couple full sets of spring if that's the one spring I already had the one with the bunny which was my favorite and then I just they didn't do it for me so I picked these up off stash unload three of the four seasons I'm also missing spring uh, it's not that I don't like spring they didn't have it or I'd have gotten it and I will get it eventually um, when I get around to stitching those I always seem to skip spring and then we had our stitchy meetup this week. Um, and like I said, Penny is getting ready to open her store. So when she comes, she brings her inventory. She brings her flosses, and these big totes, and they're all in these big rings of gorgeousness. Um, and then she brings some of her charts. So we get to like, it's like a pop-up store right in my house. Does it get any better than a cross-stitch pop-up store right in your house? Um, so I picked up Happy Christmas Row and Stars, Stars and Stripes. So here's what I love about Penny's pop-up store right in my house. We don't have a very close LNS. Um, I mean, some manners do. There's one in Kennebunk. And then there's one in Damascata. They're not like, they don't have all the designers and all the charts, but they have usually, I think both of them have Weeks and Gentle Arts. They don't carry classic color works. Um, Penny does. So like when I bought this chart in my living room, <laughs> I could open it up, see what colors it called for, and then look at the colors in person to see is there a lot of variegation in that? Um, is it a shade of red that I like? Do I just have a shade of red that will work? This one in particular, I just need a red and a white and a blue, easy. But some of them, some of the designers that chart like all in fancy floss, 
Well, they have a whole closet full of fancy floss. So do I, it's in there. But they have all the fancy floss. And sometimes like on the Easter row, it called for nutmeg weeks or gentle arts. And that nutmeg is just those beaks, little chick beaks. I'm not gonna buy a whole skein for 10 stitches. <laughs> um, so I use the DMC. So I like being able to see if it's, if it's fancy floss worthy. Let's be honest, is it fancy floss worthy? Um, and by being able to look at that chart in person and kind of decide, well, I'll just do mostly DMC, but this big chunk would really show the variegation and the floss is really variegated, so I'll invest in that. Um, it's just great. That's why I'm so jealous of everyone that has an LNS that they can just pop into acorns and threads. I tell Audrey I'm in the wrong Portland. I'm not even in Portland, but I'm close to the wrong Portland. Um, Cause Portland, Oregon has a bunch of stuff. Looking at my, looking at my list. Um, plans. I am ready to start some stuff. I don't do, <clears throat> starting stuff is my favorite. <laughs> Um, it's kind of like a reward for getting stuff done. So whenever I get to start something, I don't want to do mania and start everything all at once because to me, for me personally, that takes part of the fun out of it because I really like being able to start something new, putting it together, putting those first stitches in. Um, so I kind of went into the year finishing some things. And now I'm ready to start some things. Cause I also like having a couple things going at once so that if I'm not into something, I have something to switch to, but I don't want a hundred things. My mind would explode. So I'm ready to start some things. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. The two things I wanted to start to stitch month to month were Tingles, which I did. And then the other one is Santa's Village. And I'm doing my Santa's Village, I mentioned a little different, that I, I found this piece at Goodwill, this frame mirror metal thing that I'm going to use. Um, so mine will be vertical. So I went through and I kind of cropped and made myself up a little mock-up so I could keep track because a couple of these, one of them I had to flip so that the, you know, the house was on the right side. This house I will need to push over and swap with the flowers so that they're lined up. Um, but this is how mine's going to look. And I was actually thinking last night when I should have been trying to sleep and I was having a hard time sleeping. My fabric is cut. Typically I start in the middle, but for this one, I was thinking I'd start at the top, but I actually think I need to start at the bottom so that like on the ones where I'm switching, I can work on the snow first. So I probably will start down here, probably right here and kind of keep track. I think one, I think this is the one I'm flipping. So I'm doing eight. There's 12 and I've picked eight. Um, so I'm ready to start that. And then for a very prairie year stitch along, um, that's with Misty. Well, it started out with me and Misty and Barbie because Barbie wanted to get some of her started. And we've had so many people join us, which is awesome. Um, and dangerous because now I see all these other pieces. I'm like, ooh, I don't have that one. Um, so it might be the year of expanding our already extensive prairie school <laughs> libraries, um, which there's nothing wrong with that. So the way we're doing it is it's very, it's very low key. It was just, let's start a prairie schooler once a month, anytime during the month, any prairie schooler, big ones, little ones, medium ones, whatever you got, bring it on um, for the whole year. So for January, I did the two tiny little ornaments on um, like a black, and then it's all shiny too. This is a reprint, so it's that terrible paper, Prairie Seasons, and I'm going to start with spring. Um, I pulled the colors. I was messaging them last night and I said, oh, I might need to brighten them up a little because they were kind of, they were kind of dry, I thought. But then 
and I wanted to wait until I could actually see in the daylight. Um, then I auditioned them on some fabrics, and it's amazing what a difference it makes. I had this scrap. It's probably doubloon. That's what I tend to use the most. So when you put them on there, like they didn't pop. Some of them did. So this might be autumn. I might use this for autumn and even winter because the white would show up. Then I put them on a piece I had. It's actually another one of Misty's. It's called Harvest Moon and it's much lighter. And it's amazing what a difference it made. I'm sure you can't really see, but it made a huge difference and kind of popped those colors out. So I think that will be my February Prairie Schooler. So if I'm doing button up monthly, I'll have four left. That will take me a while. I mean, I might get into it later and be like, why would I put this down? I can finish this up. Um, if I do maybe spring and summer from this chart, be February and March, I really want to start weather wise. That's the one I kind of really wanted to get done this year. Um, I probably will change the colors in that one a little bit. Uh, I will weatherize them and make them look a little more faded um, in New Englandy. And my brain hasn't been ready to do that yet. So, but I like to really start that one. So maybe after spring and summer, I can work on that. I'm also, and I can't show you, I need to do my start um, for the Smalls Exchange at the Fru Yankee Retreat, which is the end of March. So I've picked that, it's ready to go. I'll get that started. So that's my plans. A couple new starts, more of the same. Um, giveaways. So last week, last two weeks, last video, I did, um, it was my 2000 subscriber and just past one year floss to anniversary. So thank you all for the comments and the thank yous. Um, I had 124 people say they were interested in the giveaway, which was I've been making project bags that I'm planning on taking to the Frugal Yankee Retreat um, to sell. So my giveaway was um, project bag of your choice from what I have made. So I will send the winners a picture of what I have made. <laughs> um, there's two winners, one for 2000 and one for the yearly. So the first person that came up will get first dibs because some of the bags I only have one of, and then it will pop over to the second person. So I did the random number generator um, before I started and I laughed because I got not one, but two people whose names I see regularly in my comments, who I've talked to, who I've talked to on Instagram. Um, so that was really cool to see that it's kind of a yearly thing. It's two people that I've been I've been getting to know over that time. So that was fun. Um, the first one is Island Time 79. We've talked on Instagram, so that made me smile. And then after that, it was Farm Boys Love. So I was so excited. Um, so I'll get in touch with both of you, um, probably on Instagram. That might be easier because I know we talk on there anyway. Um, I'll take a picture of what I have. I did a few more this week that are pieced, but they're not, um, I have to do the zippers. They're, they're back there in that mess. I put them under my cutting board so that the cats don't get to them. And then every time I sit there, I'm like, oh, why is, this, why is it so wonky over here? Well, you have a stack of bags under there. So I need to get those done. Um, and then final thing, and we're almost at 30 minutes. Um, I've been watching, I've been really trying to watch some new floss tubers. They might, they're not new, all of them, this week. I have three this week. Two of them are brand new. And one's on like video 67 and I just hadn't had a chance to watch. So I'm out of the loop. Um, first of all, Holly and Anita, I'm so glad you're back. I missed you. I know life happens and it's holidays and it's busy. Um, but I was glad you ladies were back to make us laugh with your Yoda, and I just, I really liked your video. Um, so I watched um, Shelly Key X Stitch, who comments on my videos, and I just hadn't had a chance to pop over, and like I said, she's on like video 67, and I'm way behind. Um, she has some really cool projects going, 
And then the two new ones, I watched Kim Hollenbach, who is Spartan Stitcher on Instagram. Um, Kim has all the full coverage. Like, that's impressive. I don't, I don't know how people do even one full coverage. It's not my thing because I don't feel like I would ever get anything done and then I'd get frustrated. Um, whereas, like, you know, I could bust that row out in, like, four days. Um, four days on a haid and I'd have, like, an inch. So it's not my thing. Um, but Kim's video was really cool. She did a whip parade, which was like a haid parade, and it was really cool. And then Rustic Threads, who is Hillary, who's another Mainer. Um, she's not close to me. Maine, Maine can be a very big, spread out state, but hopefully we'll be able to get together at some point. Um, Hillary and I have a lot of similar tastes and projects, so it was nice to have a fellow Mainer making videos. Um, so I will link them below if you want to check them out too. I think that's it. I feel a little rambly today with my one dark side. <laughs> this room looks better though than the last time I showed you. I have a few things, well, other than this mess. Um, that's into the jungle. Those are the Harry Potter stamps. I've got my Tis the Season. That's a little one my sister made me. It says always. Um, that's from the Harry Potter swap. These are stamps. Sometimes when I go to the post office to mail stuff, I'm a sucker for cool stamps. That's a new thing. I didn't used to be a sucker for cool stamps. Um, and they fit perfect on that little quarter wall. And then, you can't see it, John's Triforce is up there. So this, the office, when we had it originally, had like no stitching in it. Now it has all kinds of stitching in it. And I told them, I said, look, like you guys have the nerd wall and that's kind of your stuff that I'm happy to stitch for you. Um, there's some Princess Bride stuff in there and that's my stuff. But this room can just be eclectic and have all the stuff that doesn't really fit anywhere else. I just throw up on that wall. In this room, because it was my son's room, the wall's already in kind of bad shape. So I don't even really feel bad about putting more nail holes in because um, eventually we'll have to patch and repaint anyway. So I might as well enjoy it because they're kind of hodgepodge. You know me, now I'm like, I gotta stitch another little one to put over here because that's asymmetrical and it's gonna drive me crazy. It won't be a dragon. <laughs> I'll put something else over there. Um, all right, you guys, again, thank you so much for all your encouragement and your comments and for spending some time with me. Um, stay warm. Hopefully spring is coming. I know we have ages to wait, but for parts of the state that are like feeling like your nose sticks together when you breathe in outside. Um, hopefully it warms up for you guys. All right. Have a good afternoon.